Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. Today in our video, we are going to see how to generate unit tests with IntelliTest and run them with VSTS. So we will look at how we're generating this unit test and calculate the code coverage on the local machine as well as doing the same process with Visual Studio Team Service and the build on the cloud. So let's see that. So first, I will just copy my project. I prepared a project called the Great. So let me just copy that project. Here, just going to the home and open this folder. Just copy that here. Then going to my solution to start adding that project so right click and click add existing project I have two project the grid library and the grid this is the first one let's add the second one existing and the grid library <coughs> sorry so now I have the both projects. So the console application, the grid is just a console application and grid library is just a class library project, which has one method that has a grade and you give just the grid, uh, the, the degree and just to give you the grade. So if you give 90, it will give you uh, a grade A, 80 is B and so on. And in the console application, application it just like calling that class library and giving, you know, the degree and just expecting the grade. And in this example, 75. So let's set this as a startup project and just adding console dot read so we can stop the app from closing and then running the application. So we can see the result is just to see because we sent 75, the degree is 75, and then the grade was C. Okay, so let's go here and add a new project. And I will select a unit testing project which will hold all the generated unit tests. And here I will just naming unit test. I can choose whatever name I want. And then in this project, I will just create a, a hand coded unit test. I will name it try 90 and the result is A. This is uh, the best name convention for unit testing by writing the scenario and the result. So just to copy the code, you know, instead of just typing that so I will just copy that two lines my keyboard so instead of typing them and then of course I need to add reference on the grid library so I will just go here and add reference to the grid library I need to use this grid library here then instead of 75 I will just pass 90 which is equivalent to the, the scenario I defined and then making here assert on that re the return value is a so r equal and then the actual expected result is a and the actual result is the grade and just run this unit test to see if this will succeed or not so I prefer to rebuild the application. It's personal references more than anything. So I will just run this method and it's success. If I make it P, when I run it, it doesn't su succeed. So that's it. I have one method I, I handed, I coded with my hand then 
I can put a break point as we can see started debugging, see the result and so on. So, you know, writing the normal unit testing with hand. Manually write that or type that. Okay, so let's fix that back to A. Then I'm going to generate the unit test. And to do that, let's go for the method I want to generate the unit test for that and then I just go for the part that I want to generate the unit test, and then click here and choose run entry test and then this will you know scanning the code and just you know suggested the all the possible unit testing so we can see that we have all this unit testing that cover all the cases and I can just save that this will generate this uh, save that in a, in, a, in a file and then for for each case for the A I already have hand coded method with the A result so I don't need that one so I can just using the hand code and I will save that so we have here four with generated and one with hand coded so let's rebuild now of course all of them will appear but before that let me show you the code coverage with the hand coded only so if i run the, the test method then start calculating the code coverage for that one i can see here that the code coverage is 27% and we can see here with this highlight that the red part with this color uh, that it is not covered there is no unit testing cover all this red or highlighted with red so let's get back to the unit testing again and run all the, the generated unit tests that we generate them using the entity test so if I select them no let me select them and run them now let's go back and start generating the unit test for them with as well with run all of them so we 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 running now the generated for unit test and the hand code unit test and let's calculate the code coverage for that so when we see the code coverage we can see now it's 100 percent because now we have unit tests that cover all branches and there is no highlighted in red so we cover all branches in code and this is the main idea of the test that i could reach 100 percent code coverage So let's go for see the code that's generated so we can give look at that here as we can see here is the method that I saved the four method unit testing method okay so the next step is how to use that on VSTS so first let me check that code inside the source control or commit this change with my local git repository so here I will just commit that this is will be here let's go for the code and refresh of course there is no code because this is a local only and then I will just push this change to the VSTS just to push them or sync whatever the same just sync will get the latest as well but there is no latest so if I refresh here we can see that the grade now and the grade library are, are there so just try to trigger the build but before that let's go for editing the build definition to change small change in the the DLL running let's uh, copy the name of the unit test project which called grid library test because I don't want to run any other testing project so this is the one this is a great test project and I saved that 
so and queue the build so in the great test project this is the project that has the four unit test generated and I had my one unit test hand decoded in another project so the build run successfully and we can see that we have here 79% code coverage which calculated by the four methods or unit test method which generated by the IntelliTest thanks for watching the video please if you have any question uh, just visit my blog muhammadradwan.com and leave your questions and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can Thank you.